Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is finally here, continuing the story where Remake left off, with our heroes ready to explore the wide open world outside of Midgar. There is a lot to see and do in Rebirth, and the combat systems are more complex than ever. So if this is your first time riding a chocobo, or it's just been a while since you've been in the saddle, we've got these 10 tips to help you with your time in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Presented by the United States Air Force, where great starts happen, from launching a career and making lifelong friendships to becoming a better you. <laughs> Remake and Rebirth take the original Final Fantasy VII's turn-based combat system and make it even more active. But that doesn't mean you should just be wailing on enemies with your basic attack. Your square attacks are the best way for you to build your ATB meter. And once that's full, you can unleash much more powerful attacks like spells, summons, or weapon abilities such as Cloud's iconic Braver Slack. Early on, you can buy the Assess Materia. Using this ability in combat gives you the keys to defeating each enemy you find, allowing you to discover an enemy's strengths and weaknesses, as well as how to pressure or stagger each foe. You'll also learn information like which items the monsters will drop. The enemies you'll face can be seriously tough, so you'll need to learn when to dodge and block to prevent your party from being wiped out. Blocking at the right moment will completely negate damage from most attacks, and even holding the button down will drastically reduce the amount of damage taken as well. Dodging, on the other hand, has been improved in Rebirth to now give you some brief frames of invincibility, meaning that a well-timed dodge can move through attacks. Just be aware that the dodge animations are faster or slower depending on which character you're controlling. Once you've got a feel for your character's abilities, head to the combat settings menu to assign different combat shortcuts. These shortcuts allow you to use a quick button combination to unleash an ability without opening the command menu and pausing the game. You can assign shortcuts to any ability that the character has, which means there are a lot of options, which is why we suggest you only start tailoring these options once you've found your favorite moves. Once you've experienced the City of Calm, you'll be let loose on the grasslands. You're pretty limited in what you can do out here until you reach certain story moments though, so we recommend following the objective markers closely until you reach the Chocobo Ranch and complete the task they set out for you. This will unlock many open world activities as well as Chocobo travel, which is much faster and more convenient than traveling on foot. Folios are a new way of developing your character's different skills and attributes in Rebirth. You earn skill points by acquiring certain items and leveling up your characters, and you can then spend these skill points at folio machines or bookstores to improve your characters. Skill points can be refunded at any time, so feel free to try certain folio unlocks in different combinations to find your favorites. You won't have enough points to unlock everything at once, so use these menus to tailor your party towards certain roles or abilities as you see fit. Folios are also where you can unlock new synergy skills and abilities, which are another new mechanic in Rebirth. This new synergy system allows your party members to team up in flashy and dynamic ways mid-combat depending on the type of synergy used. Synergy skills can be used for free as individual moves by holding block and then pressing the corresponding face button. Synergy abilities require your characters to have built up some synergy charges by using normal abilities first. Then, once both characters have enough charges, they can unleash a devastating team-up attack that not only deals massive damage, but also provides those characters with a unique bonus that can drastically change how you fight. These bonuses could raise your ATB segments from 2 to 3, grant infinite MP for a limited amount of time, and more. So get familiar with these new skills to get the leg up on your opponents. You'll probably have noticed that you can change your party around in combat settings, and even create three party presets that you can quickly switch between as well. But did you know that you can swap between these presets without pausing the game? To quickly swap presets, open the command menu while outside of combat. Then press R1 or L1 to cycle through your different party options. It's as quick and easy as that. Each open world area has a string of quests where you can chase after a proto relic. Following this chain of different quests is a great way to see the majority of an area, as the different quests will take you all across the map. In between different proto relic tasks, you'll no doubt find other open world activities like activating remnant wave towers or fighting challenging fiends. So if you want to enjoy a directed tour of a given region, get after that proto relic. 
There are plenty of side quests to complete along your journey, but not all of them are as simple as just following the objectives in front of you. Some will present you with a simple choice along the way that can alter the outcome of the quest for you and your party. These different outcomes don't affect your rewards too much, but they might affect how much a party member's relationship status with Cloud will change. You'll know that you chose correctly if you see the golden stamp symbol at the end of a quest or in the quest log. If you chose incorrectly, this stamp will be a tick instead. Armed with these tips, you'll be ready for a reunion with Sephiroth in no time. For more on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, check out all our guides and features, and of course, stay tuned to IGN.com.